We are here today at the world famous hot dog stand, Good Dog Place. So Mr. Smith, how did you become the world's most successful hot dog stand? Well, first of all, Blake, I'd like you to refer me, uh, refer to me as Mr. Frankfurt. It all started when I asked my dad for a new bicycle. I said, Dad, can I please have a new bicycle? He said to me, son, you can have anything you want in life if you help enough other people get what they want. You know what other people want, son? I said, of course I do. They want a good hot dog. And he said, son, if you can sell a hundred hot dogs today at the park, I'll get you that new bike. And Blake, you know what I did? What did you do? I sold those hundred hot dogs and that's what got me here today. Well, thank you, Mr. Smith, for the inside scoop. That's all. Breaking news from the local pig farms, there has been reports of mass amounts of pigs passing away from a rare form of, of the swine flu. For more on this, we go to Jimmy for the latest update. They're all dying! <laughs> back to Blake, back to talk to the owner of Good Dog Place. We're reporting on how the low supply of pork is affecting the hot dog industry. Let's go talk to him. So, Mr. Smith, how has business been lately? Uh, since the supply of hot dogs is so low, I've had to raise my prices. And now that it's more expensive, uh, I've tried selling veggie dogs, but there's no vegans in Cash Valley. Hey, I, I may be going out of business. I'm so sorry to hear that, Mr. Smith. Back to you, Jimmy. Sad story. The news is over. Well, another news, the chicken market is booming. Thanks for watching Econ News. This is Blake Lido signing off. Keep it classy, Cash Valley.